Yeah, um, I know that I've been pretty quiet on the Facebook lives lately. <laughs> I'm just messaging with Tarisi as well. Um, so sorry about that. We, <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute, Tarisi. Um, uh, yes, I've just had a huge amount going on with work opportunities and um, the boys have had to be tested for COVID because they had runny noses and um, other family members have been tested and so it's just all been a bit of a juggling act. Um, but yeah, we're all in the clear and so I'm starting to get organised for next week's wellness challenge which I am doing collaboratively with Tara Darlington who I've referred to a fair bit on my Facebook over the last 12 months because she has been a mentor to me um, as I come out of maternity leave and get back into work um, and I wrote a post about that yesterday on LinkedIn and have shared that across too so if you're interested in what I've done with Tara in the past then you can have a look at that and that will give you some ideas um but i think that and i hadn't even remembered that it's, this is a time of year when decra reports come out for anyone who's in australia but there are so many people who are having to deal with their their own responses to assessor reports from decra applications for those of you who are not in academia this is a grant application process that so many people pour their hearts and souls into over at least 12 months I would say because you have a bit of a run up to summer you spend really all of your summer devoted to pulling this grant application together and then you wait wait for assess reports and Oh my goodness, on my Twitter, I just saw, I mean, there's quite a few comments where just people are reeling from awful, awful assessor reports. I don't know why people feel like they can say whatever they like when they're anonymous, but they do. Um, and even with people who are new or like early career researchers, they don't have any qualms about being ruthless in those reports. And a lot of people, um, I mean, I have often felt very personally connected with my research and the amount of hours and sacrifice that you pour into it, it really hurts when people are so rude, um, can be very rude and hurtful about it. So um, a lot of people will be hurting, will be angry, irritated, anxious because they don't know what to do next. And this um grant application process has been presented as kind of your next best step as you get out of a phd for most of us um or the, anything in the arc system but i think through next week hopefully you'll see that there are some more options available to you um, so i've just sent out an email to people who are on my list so if you're on my list you'll have got it and it's got information about how um, some of the steps that we'll be going through next week so if you're interested in a little bit more detail then please send me a dm and i'll add you to my email list um and then the other thing i wanted to say was that we've got two prizes up for grabs so one is a virtual retreat with tara that's worth nearly 100 dollars. so that's amazing and then also um, there's going to be a copy of Song Spirals up for grabs, which has just been, um, it was shortlisted for the Stella Prize. So what you need to do to get one of those prizes to be in the running is comment on every single video from next week that we put up. We'll be doing it live from the Create Your Past page and um, show you that you've engaged with what has been talked about and then you'll be in the draw for these prizes and I'll announce them on the Monday after the um so what will be we're finishing on the third fourth fifth sixth I'll announce the winner on the 6th of July uh or winners so I'll do those two prizes separately so um yeah so you can either have a retreat or have a really interesting book to read and um yeah it really does sound like an amazing book I might recommend it to my book group which 
I need to get in touch with Fiona Fulton about. <laughs> um, so that's the update. And yes, I'm sorry to anyone who I haven't been in touch with, who I should have been in touch with over the last few weeks, but it has been a little bit crazy. Um, mm, but hopefully you're all doing well or as well as can be expected. I think the stuff I've just talked about with the DECRA and people feeling deflated, frustrated, is going to be applicable to a lot of people in a lot of different industries at the moment. We've just had the guts ripped out of the ABC here, the Australian Broadcasting Company. Um, so people have lost their jobs or being moved to different offices and locations and having to rethink their career trajectory there. Um, lots of people are having to rethink things, you know, and we often get told if you do this, then you will achieve this. And there are certain goals that you can meet and then you'll achieve the bigger result at the end. But a lot of us are finding that we've we've done the slog, we've done everything that we've been told to do and we're still not getting to that end point that we thought we would reach. Um, so we might just have to do some reimagining of what life is going to be like and um, rethink that a little bit. So I'm hoping that everyone will find this a really useful moment to pause and think creatively about what they can do next. That's it from me for now. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions, comment below or send me a message. Um, I know some of you have signed up already through the um, Facebook post that I've been putting up um, advertising the wellness challenge. But, um, you know, feel free to just shoot me a message and say, please add me to the email list so you get updates that are, about things that are coming up. Um, yeah, but take care and I'll be in touch soon. Um, Benaka Tarisi, I'll talk to you in a minute because I'm going to get off now. <laughs> Bye.